So hello everyone. So today we'll be discussing uh, about a topic uh, that is uh, chain rule of function of two variables. If you were a student of BSc fourth semester students, and if you were a student of multivariate calculus, then you must have heard of this topic. But if you were not new to this, so don't worry. So I am here to explain everything which is related to this concept that it's a chain rule of function of two variables in a very easy way. So after this video, I am sure that you will uh, have no doubt about this topic and you will be able to dealing with uh, every problem which is related to uh, this topic. Okay. So first, uh, let us uh, see the definition of uh, chain rule of function of two variables. So what is the chain rule for a function of two variables? So write down the definition. So what is the chain rule of the chain rule? The chain rule is a fundamental. So it's a fundamental. It's a fundamental. So fundamental concept. It's a fundamental concept in multivariate calculus. In multivariate calculus that deals with that deals with that deals with the derivative of a the derivative. So the derivative of a composite function. Okay. So what the definition says. So the chain rule is a fundamental concept. That means the chain rule is a fundamental concept which uh, deals with the uh, derivative of a composite function. So uh, to understand uh, this definition, so we need to know. So what is a composite function? Okay. So let us consider two functions. So let us consider for it. So let us consider two functions. Two functions. Uh, what oh, first one is two functions first one is x equal to x uv that means x is function of u and v and the second function is y which is again a function of u and v that means function of these two variables u and v and y is also function of two variables then the then the composite function then the composite then the composite function z which is a function of x and y and is defined in this way z equal to f of x u v y u v okay where x is function of u and v and y is function of again u and v so what is a composite so function what you uh, uh, can understand about the function uh, composite function that uh, here so you, you can clearly see so z is a function of f of x y and this is called composition of uh, these two function that is x and y that means if you have a, if you have given a function so which is a function of two variables that is x and y so these are the independent variables okay if the independent variables are also function of another parameter like u and v so here uh, you can clearly see I have write uh, x is the function of u and v and y is function of u and v here these two independent variables are also function of u and v so in this case you can say uh, z is a composition of these two functions x and y that is the independent variables y and uh, x and y and this function is called composition of function okay so composition of uh, these two functions that is x and y here x and y are the independent variables okay so Basically, in this concept, that means uh, the chain rule of uh, function of two variables in, in case of the derivative of chain rule of, so in case of derivative of composition of two functions, so we use this chain rule, okay? So here uh, in this definition, you can clearly see the chain rule is a fundamental uh, concept in multivariate calculus that deals with the, the derivative of composition of function. That means in case of, uh, in case we have given a function which is a composite function then in this case if we want to differentiate this function that is the uh, the composite function differentiation so in case of composite function differentiation we use the chain rule okay so this is all about the chain rule of function of two variables and the concept behind to uh, see the definition which is related to composition of two function okay so mathematically how we can uh, uh, write that formula for a uh, uh, chain rule of function of two variables so you can understand now okay 
So suppose we have given a function z equal to f of x, y, where x and y are the independent variables. Okay, so independent, independent variables, and x is a function of u and v, and y is function of u and v. Then z is called the composition of these two functions, that is x and y. Uh, and if we want to differentiate uh, this function, that is this composite of composition of two functions, uh, that is x and y. So in this case, we use the chain rule. And the formula for the chain rule are defined in this way. So suppose you need to find del z by del u and del z by del v. That means you need to differentiate this composition this composite function with respect to u and v. So how you differentiate it? So to differentiate the, these functions, this function, the best, this composite function with respect to u and v, so you must use the chain rule. And with the help of the chain rule, you can easily calculate the derivative of this function with respect to u and v with respect to v. So mathematically, so we can write, uh, you can write the definition for chain rule as so del z by del u, how you can uh, write it. So del z by del u is defined as the del z by del x into so del x by del u. So plus so del z by del y into the so del y by del x. Again, the formula for the differentiation of this function, that means this composition, composition function z equal to f of x, y with respect to uh, v is written in this way to del z by del v into del v by del del z by del v sorry here here you need to write del z by del x into del x by del v so plus to so del z by del y into del y by del v so these are the two definitions for the chain rule of function of two variables so with respect to uh, if you uh, differentiate this function uh, with respect to u and with respect to v. So, with the help of these two definitions, you can uh, find out the value for uh, the derivative of this composite function with respect to u and with respect to v. Okay, so let's take an example now so that you can understand this concept very precisely. So, let me take an example. Suppose, suppose z equal to f of x y equal to four x square minus twice y, and here x is given in this way, u square v, and y is given in this way, so u cube v. Then you need to find del z by del u and del z by del z by del v. So how you can find uh, these two derivatives? So a moment ago, I have just provided you the definitions for uh, partial derivative with respect to x and uh, partial derivative of this composition of two functions with respect to u and v. So with the help of those formulas, we can uh, uh, find out these two values that is the partial derivative of z with respect to x and partial derivative of z with respect to v. Okay. So first, uh, let me find out the partial derivative of z with respect to x. So the formula for partial derivative of z with respect to x is to nothing but the chain rule for this composition of two functions, that is x and y, where x is equal to u square v and y equal to u cube v. So del z by del x will be what? So del z by so del x into del x by so del z by del u. Okay. So del z by let me correct it. So del z by del u equal to del z by del x into del x by del u plus to del z by del uh, y into del y by del u. Okay. So here del z by del x is what? Uh, here we have given the function is z equal to f of x y and f of x y equal to 4x square minus twice y. So from here, so you can... Uh, Clearly see, the function is 4x square minus 2y and you need to differentiate, that means you need to partially differentiate this function with respect to x. 
so you must keep y as constant in this case so if you differentiate partially this function with respect to x then you, what you will have so 8x okay so next you need to find del z by uh, del y by del u okay so uh, later on i will uh, find uh, this value also so first let me find out the del x by del u the del x by del u is what so here x is a function of uv so you need to find del x by del u so in that case so what you uh, need to do you must give this value that means you must keep this variable v as constant okay so by doing so so del x by del u what you will have so twice u v now you need to find del z by del y so del z by del y that means you need to differentiate this function with respect to y and in that case you need to uh, uh, keep this uh, variable as constant that is x so if you differentiate this function with respect to y then you will have what only minus 2 now you need to find del y by del u and you can clearly see y is defined as y equal to y u q into v so in that case if you differentiate this function with respect to u you must keep this variable that is v as constant and uh, by doing so the del y by del u you will have so 3 u squared into v so now putting these values in this expression that is in this same rule so you will have the value of so del z by so del u and this value will be uh, equal to what to so del z by del x the value of del z by del x is you can clearly see 8x and del x by del u is equal to twice uv okay so now del z by del y is what minus 2 and the value of this expression that is the value of this partial derivative del y by del u is equal to 3 u square v now uh, by writing properly so uh, after a little bit simplification what you will have so 8 into 2 is a 16 x u v minus 2 into 3 is a 6 u square v that means the partial derivative of this function uh, z with respect to u by using the chain rule since uh, uh, we are dealing with a composite composite function z equal to f of x y x 4 x square minus twice y where x equal to u square into v and y square equal to y a y equal to u cube v so uh, you have what so we have what del z by del u equal to 16 x u v minus 6 u square into v so in this way you can apply the chain rule okay so I hope this explanation, uh, this explanation is helpful for you guys. So, and if you still have any questions, if if you have any doubt regarding this problem, so you can uh, ask me in the comment section. So, don't hesitate. So, keep watching my videos if you like my videos, and don't forget to share, subscribe, and like my videos. Okay. So, thank you for visiting my channel.